Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is currently one degree out here right now. And I think this may be the first time since I've had my bed built that I'm not gonna be able to sleep in my van. So I brought this out here a little bit, a little while ago, and it's showing that it's three degrees out here in my van. I've got my heater going. It's been going for about 30 minutes, and I just don't think this little heater's gonna cut it in this cold of weather. I came out here earlier, and my pillows, they're a little softer now. My pillows were rock hard. I didn't even know that they could do that. But this, cold is ridiculous. I live in Oklahoma, so it don't get this cold here normally. Every once in a while it'll get down this low, but not often. And I know that if you're living in the north, you're probably thinking that this is nothing, but this is definitely something here. So I've slept out here every night since the bed's been built, and I don't think I'm going to be able to tonight, unless this heater can warm it up in here, which I, it's not looking promising. Um, and I know that there's people out there that are struggling to stay warm right now. I am extremely lucky and thankful that I have a place to go in situations like this where it's too cold to stay out in the van. But I know that there's other people out there that are struggling right now to stay warm and I am praying for those people because this is, this is awful. Lucy on the other hand, she's part German Shepherd and Husky. So this, cold right now I'm obviously not gonna leave her out for a long time but this cold has not phased her one bit she was out here rolling in the snow earlier so I wasn't gonna start this video today oh dang it Lucy started rolling around in the snow again I was gonna show you but she stopped <laughs> She's just rolling around on her back um, I wasn't gonna start this video today I was gonna start it this weekend um, because I'm going to be working on my cabinets for the van. It's supposed to warm up a little bit this weekend, so it won't be quite as cold. But I thought that this would be a good opportunity for me to come out here and see, with everything that I have right now, what it would be like to sleep out here in this kind of weather. The wind chill right now is negative 20. And they're saying that it could get close to negative 30 tonight. So I don't... I hate to say it and because I wanted to experience this, but I just feel like that that's dangerous. So I'm going to leave the heater running, see what happens. I'm very excited to get a Chinese diesel heater to see how well that does compared to this electric heater. The cold front moved in last night at around, I think around five o'clock last night. And I could definitely tell when it hit because my the wind was crazy and it was shaking my van. So last night it was perfect. I was warm. Not that big of a deal. Today is a different story. So I'm gonna leave this running. I'll give it a few hours and see what happens. If not, then I'm going in the house and sleeping in the house tonight. So it's been a couple of days since that last clip. The heater could not keep up with the cold. I had it on for a while and the warmest I could get it in the van was 16 degrees. So I just, I didn't think it would be a good idea for me to sleep out here in that cold. So I decided to go in. So for the past two nights I've been in the house. Friday, I think the high temperature was 15 degrees and Saturday, I think it got up to like 24 or 25 and then it got really cold at night. And today is Sunday, which is Christmas Day, and I hope you all had a great Christmas. But um, it got up to 36 today, so it finally got above freezing. And when I first started the heater, which was probably about 10 minutes ago, it was 36 degrees in the van, and now it's like 49. It's getting close to 50 degrees in here. So I'm definitely going to be sleeping in the van tonight. As you can see, I don't have any sheets or my blankets out here. They're all in the house still. I just, since I had everything in the house, I decided to go ahead and wash everything. So I'm waiting on those to get done in the dryer and then I'll bring them out and make my bed and stay out here tonight. 
So what I'm planning on doing tomorrow is working on my cabinets. I will probably have to split the cabinets up into two videos, this video and then the next one, because it's Christmas and I've been spending a lot of time with my family. So I haven't had a lot of time to get out and work on the cabinets. So not a big deal. I'll just split them up in between two videos and then I'll show them up hopefully in the next video. So once my sheets and blankets are done drying, I'm gonna bring them out here and make my bed probably bring my TV back out and hang out for the rest of the evening. One thing that I have noticed so far about being in the van, I may get better at this, but especially not being able to stand up, it's very hard to make my bed. So I found that if, as long as it looks okay, that's fine enough with me. It's never gonna look perfect. And some days I don't make my bed at all because it's just too much of a hassle. All right, so I've got a fire started, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my cabinets. And it sounds like Lucy wants in. What? Come on. Wanna come in? Come on. Lucy, come on. Come on. Or not. So here's what I have so far. Uh, the other day, me, my brother, and my dad went out and cut the side pieces in the back. And then I had to cut a hole in the back of it to go around the area where my gas tank is. And then I used one by twos in the corners to connect them. So I think today what I'm gonna do is work on the front of it. I plan on having drawers on this side. My sink will be here with two double doors that open out. And then my refrigerator is gonna be on this side. So I've got to measure everything out and make sure I can fit everything in there. And also I was going to frame in the front of the cabinets with these one by twos, but I think going along the top and the bottom, I think I'm going to use two by fours just to strengthen it up a little bit. So I don't have to worry about it sagging in the middle or anything like that.
Okay, so now that I've got the front framed in, it's kind of easier to see. This right here is where my fridge will go. This will be my sink, underneath my sink. And then there'll be three drawers on here. All right, so I think it's safe to say that I am not going to be a carpenter and build cabinets for a living. This is not easy. I figured out that I need to go get a different type of screws uh, to make it a little bit easier. Since I have the front framed in now, I just need to build out where my drawers will go and then I can sand everything down and start painting it. But that's gonna have to be in my next video. I know that this is probably gonna be a shorter video than normal, uh, but with Christmas and the winter weather that came in, this week it just didn't work out, unfortunately. But anyway, I really appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.